Mazda Tapas Show, Radio from Radies Rides. I'm here at West Shore Mazda once again in Tampa, Florida. And guess what? We have that compact car offering from Mazda to go up against some of the big players. This is it. This is a 2022 Mazda 3 sedan. Our particular one is in all-wheel drive. But before we get into this four-door, smaller size vehicle from this iconic Japanese brand, let's talk about what's going on here. Mazda really have kind of built a name for themselves in the auto industry. First, it was all about rotary engines. And of course, the mighty Mazda RX-7 and even the Mazda RX-8, which was not the best way to follow up the iconic RX-7. And then of course, you think about fun driving experience with their Mazda MX-5 Miatas. One thing that Mazda likes to do is compete with the best. And in this compact car segment, you have some pretty big players. You got the original OGs, the Corolla, and the Civic, plus of course the newcomers from Hyundai with the Elantra and Kia with the Forte. But we can't also forget Nissan with the Sentra. Now, lots of changes are going on with the compact cars for 2022 with total redesigns. Mazda has decided to take a little bit different approach. They've kind of restructured some of their trims. They brought out some new colors, including our Platinum Quartz Metallic. First time ever sprayed onto a Mazda 3. What I want to find out is I want to compare this to a vehicle that has a total redesign, the Honda Civic, the 11th generation of the Honda Civic. Can this Mazda 3 bring the heat? Let's go ahead, let's dive into our 2022 Mazda 3 and find out, is it the better compact sedan to buy over the Honda Civic? Let's find out. Right off the bat, this Platinum Quartz Metallic. In person, it's very interesting. It almost looks like a satin silver finish, but it does have a clear on it. So it's not a flat color, even though it may appear like that here on camera from West Shore Mazda. But up front, we are working with the optional premium package. That's something that's been reclassified for 2022. So what that's gonna include are our adaptive LED headlights with those LED daytime running lamps and turn singles, all nice and trimmed in that great looking headlight housing. And I think if you're looking for a car that looks a little sportier, this Mazda 3 definitely checks off some of those boxes looking a little sportier than the Honda Civic. I think another thing I really enjoy is how it's super smooth. No fake vents, nothing like that. Everything's smooth to the touch. On the bottom portion here, just a little splattering of, glo of gloss black. Now, if you look at the new Civic, that has a lot of flat black finishes. So one thing Mazda didn't want to do, they didn't want to go down that flat black route. They wanted to keep the fit and finish still higher level for their brand. So that's why they went with the gloss black, but no fake vents, which is great. You have the bright chrome finish that starts underneath the headlight housing and then kind of drips down. And as we come across that low slung nose, you have that gloss black grill, fully functional with that Mazda badge in the center. And this is another thing, like I said, if you're looking for sleek, if you're looking for sporty, definitely this Mazda 3 compared to the new Civic is a little bit sleeker and sportier. On the bottom end, full functionality. I like the way the, the uh, Platinum Quartz Metallic goes all the way across this bottom section to give it a nice cohesive feel. A lot of times brands go flat black and it kind of just breaks things up. Now when we get up onto the hood, you're still getting that same great design from this generation that we are about three years into the redesign of this car. Still looking great. And that's one thing that Mazda does is because they don't go crazy with hard edges and weird scientific robotic shapes, their designs are a little timeless. And I think that's what's helping the Mazda 3 age a little bit better, even though the Civic is a totally new redesign. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with? Wheel and tire setup. So you're gonna get these really tasteful satin aluminum polished wheels all the way around, multi-spoke design, super clean. And if you're wondering where you're saying, Joe, what is the size of this wheel? It's an 18 inch wheel. 215 on the width, 45 series sidewall, ventilated rotors, front wheel drive is not on our vehicle. You, this is normally front wheel drive, we have all wheel drive. 
Think about it. When's the last time you've seen an all-wheel drive Civic? How about never? Because you can't get a Civic with all-wheel drive. So definitely a check in the plus category for this Mazda 3 having that great all-wheel drive system. And I'm telling you, their paint finishes, whether you're going with this Platinum Quartz Metallic, Soul Red, Poly Metal Gray Metallic, I feel like the way they do their paint process gives it that extra premium feel over the other brands in this class. But I do like the nice, simple design, very classy. Working our way down the rest of the vehicle, we have more Platinum Quartz Metallic on the mirror caps, really tiny LED turn singles built in, just a little bit of shiny chrome finish just along the top. And then you'll notice we get color matched on the door handles. I'm digging the flat black side sill extension. It's interesting how just that little bit of flat black extends nicely and gives it that extra element of design. Everything else is nice and smooth flowing. Great roof line coming down. We do have a sunroof on the premium package and you do get color match shark fin antenna, standard size on the sunroof, nothing wrong with that. And then coming around the back, they really do an excellent job on the taillights. Look at the design, LED, turn singles, the brake lights, this looks like something off of a, an exotic car. I'll be honest with you, the way that they do the lighting. And then, same story, just like up front, clean, nice sheet, look at this. Right off the back trunk area, you got your Mazda badge. They actually hide the button for the trunk right underneath the Mazda badge. That's smart, clean engineering. We got our Mazda 3 badging, all-wheel drive, and then dropping it to the lower portion, super clean, just a little bit of flat black, and I like the finished exhaust on both sides, which remember, on the new Civic 11 Gen, you do get exhaust on both sides, but why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our Mazda 3. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod, but guess what? Every other car in this class, from the Elantra, the Forte, the Civic, the Corolla, even the Jetta, if you want to throw that one in, and the Sentra, all have prop rods, but what they don't have is this nice, durable, reliable, naturally aspirated engine. That's a 2.5 liter, naturally aspirated inline four. So what are we looking at? We're looking at 187 horsepower, 187 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to a six-speed automatic transmission. And like I said, we have all-wheel drive. The vehicle weighs 3,255 pounds, zero to 60, in about seven seconds, top speed around 130 miles per hour, MPGs, 24 in the city, 32 on the highway, and that's a wonderful thing to see is that there's no CVT. So when you look at the competition, you're gonna run into a lot of CVTs. Civic, Corolla, Elantra, Forte, our car here, six-speed automatic transmission. They did make some revisions for 2022, and you got that naturally aspirated power. If you want more, you could get the turbocharged setup with 250 horsepower. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see how this stacks up against the mighty Honda Civic. Right, guys, we're inside this Platinum Quartz Metallic. I just love that name, Platinum Quartz Metallic 2022 Mazda 3 with all-wheel drive. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, you are so right. You're so right, Joe. Every compact car in this segment brings a lot of differences and a lot of variety and it makes it tough for the buyer but the bottom line is price tell me joe how much is this mazda 3 platinum quartz metallic all-wheel drive sedan thank you for asking the answer is going to be an msrp of twenty nine thousand nine hundred dollars remember that's with all-wheel drive and the premium package let's see what you get to the door panels I'm happy to report they got rid of the chocolate brown colored interior. It's all unison, soft touch material, nice dark finishes with the, I want to call it like a bronzes contrast stitching. You have the optional Bose sound system, just like you'll find in a Civic, S, uh, Civic sedan today. Optional is Bose for the first time. I do like all the nice finishes though, and that's what's going to separate the interior of the Mazda 3 from the Civic, even on the armrest there, the Zonkdo is the gloss black. I have to commend Honda for getting rid of gloss black, but yet using something different than flat black. 
door pocket is a pretty good size. I would say probably four Eggo waffles and a bottle of log cabin syrup, and then you're good to go. Door panel to the dash, like the design, soft touch, even in the center here, that bronze stitching. I do like the way they did the wire mesh finish with the Civic, but I also like the way they blend the AC vents nicely with the Mazda 3. Screen size is gonna be close. You're really gonna have to whip out that screen to compare size, but this has an 8.8 inch system. The infotainment in the new Civic has the optional. You could option in a nine inch. Now the bad news is this is not a touch screen. You're gonna have to use the direct drive control knob. In the Civic, you do get a touch screen, but I do wanna showcase some of the ways that you could set up this uh, Mazda 3 very easily. We're gonna go into in-vehicle displays. We're gonna go to instrument cluster display. And then what's nice is, is you could actually have, there's our speedometer, and then you could have fuel range and fuel efficiency, or you could change it. So you could go from type one to type two, or shut it off. Real easy to work through this system and then to show all the different features. And it's just an, a nice list to go from one to the other all the way down. Now backup camera has a super nice resolution. The Zonk is it's on the smaller side. Look at all this dead space. Would like to have that kind of stretched out a little bit, but it is super clear with the resolution. I could actually count every pebble that's in the road right there. And I'm not gonna do that. That'll make the video too long. Let me know what you think about how the infotainment system is housed in this center section here compared to the Civic. I'm curious to see what you have to say. Put it back in the park and we're right back. You do get dual climate, nice switch gear. Gives it that great overall feel. We have three stages of seat heating. Your start stop button. Of course, you're gonna have your Snickers area down here. Or if maybe you like the Milky Way, what, you're not into nuts? You don't like having nuts in your mouth? Then you could go with the Milky Way. Put three Milky Way bars, two cup holders. There's your key fob. Mazda standard fob, nothing wrong with that. It's got a good weight to it. Soft touch material even on the edges here. This is an area where test out the cars you're driving, rub your hands here. Just don't do it in front of anybody because they may think you're weird, but this is an easy place to see if they went cheap and they did not do that with the Mazda 3. This guy right here is gonna control your six-speed automatic transmission. I do like the silver finishes all the way around. You have your sport button to go into sport mode, and then you have an actual volume knob, and there's that direct drive control knob. That's nice, large size. Super soft on the premium materials with the stitching. You could take the lid, you could slide it back, or you could just lift it up. We got two USBs and a 12 volt nicely placed in here. And then easily you could put, if you are into collecting replica gold medals, you know the Winter Olympics is right around the corner, you could put, I would say, six replica gold medals. Or if you're somebody that's an Olympian, you could put your real deal gold medals there. I'd rather have the real stuff rather than the plastic. Close it up, seal it in, lock it down, airtight. Speaking about airtight, these seats are tight. And what I mean by that is that the material is nicely wrapped around the cushion. You got enough perforated design, great bolstering. It is manual adjustment for the passenger, but the great news is if you're the captain of this sedan, you do have electric assist over here for the driver, which makes sense because you are the captain. And you got a standard size sunroof, which is real nice. But why don't you come over here? I got a leather wrapped steering wheel I want to introduce you to. Come Hi on guys, over. come on in, business time. This is where the driving really happens. You do have your electric seat controls. Easy to get those fingers down there to adjust your seat. I'm six feet tall and I have plenty of room in here and I like the way everything's organized. I feel like maybe in the Civic, the new 11th generation Civic, you might have a little bit more room up front, but uh, the way everything's laid out in here, it feels very, very sporty and I do like that. Steering wheel, leather all the way around, thin, thin spoke wheel, look how thin that is. Nicely done. You do have plastic paddles on the back of the wheel to go through the six-speed automatic transmission. And it is a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then the dash is well laid out. You have an analog tack, analog coolant and fuel gauge. And then that speedometer in the center is actually a digital display, which is really nice that you can go through different information right in the center there. How cool is that? Plus we have a head-up display. 
that comes with the premium package, because you're premium, you deserve it. Let's get in the back seat and see what your passengers, though, are gonna think about the room back there in this Mazda 3. All right, guys, here we are, back seat time. This is where the Mazda 3 comes up a little short in sedan form. Definitely not as much room as the new Honda Civic. But with that being said, these seats are super comfy and they do a great job. Same thing with the front seats. When it comes to comfort and the materials, that's where you're gonna come out a winner. Now, there is a cutout for extra leg room, but there's no pocket on the driver's side. What's even worse, and I think the bigger zonk, no connectivity. If you're gonna get a premium package, give me a freaking 12 volt back here, please. I do have a pocket over here. What I would suggest doing is maybe get a couple of those uh, rechargeable battery packs for people's phones and stuff and leave them back here because if you wanna show your passengers love, let them recharge their stuff when, they die, when it dies because there's nowhere else to put it. All wheel drive though, that is what's super important in this particular Mazda 3. Nice Charmin soft armrest with two cup holders. And the way they did the perforated material and the stitching is just really spot on the money. But why don't we go ahead, let's get into the trunk and see how much money we could haul to the bank in this Mazda 3. All right guys, we're living in a day and an age where sedans, some brands are getting rid of them. But Mazda's still making a sedan. And let me show you just how usable it is. You hit that button that's hidden within the badge. You easily lift it up. Nice wide opening, deep cargo floor, 14 cubic feet of space. And if you need more space, you just pull on these handles up top to fold down those rear seats. You even have the optional cargo net. You could easily fit, I would say, five to six watermelons, depending on the size and how old they are. Because here's a little fun fact, I don't know if you know about this, but when a watermelon goes bad, it actually expands as it fills up with gases inside and then it pops. So something fun, a little fun fact for you, but you know what? What's even more fun than my fun facts is going on throttle. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's hit the open road and go on throttle in our Mazda 3. All right guys, we're leaving West Shore Mazda. We're in this 2022 Mazda 3 with all wheel drive. I'm gonna come to a complete stop. Nobody is behind us. If you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. Really does a great job with that linear torque delivery from the naturally aspirated 2.5 liter inline four. I'm gonna go ahead and put in sport mode. Watch the tachometer. You put in sport mode and the revs actually raise because of the interaction between the transmission and the engine. Going around this roundabout, yes, we don't have a multi-link rear suspension anymore, but you are gonna get some really great handling still. And I think for the average consumer, I think you're gonna still enjoy driving this Mazda 3, especially when it comes to the finishes. You do have two memory seat settings, which are nice for the driver's seat and everything is so well laid out. The 8.8 .8 inch infotainment system is not in your line of sight whatsoever. And the fact that you could option in a premium package to get the sunroof, to get uh, you know those different features added like the adaptive LED lights, that really um, is a plus. Quiet in the cabin, smooth shifting from the six speed, and I think that's another pleasure experience when driving this vehicle is not having a CVT transmission like all the other competition. But really quiet in the cabin, easy to get to the AC controls. Let me know how you feel about the touchscreen. Do you need the touchscreen? Do you not need the touchscreen? Utilizing the direct drive control knob is a snap. I mean, here I am using it right now. I'm going into exactly what I showed you with the instrument cluster display, I could go into the different types, go to type two. It actually changes right there on the dash. I could shut it off, it goes away, or I could bring it right back. And I'm doing that while I'm driving, not super duper complicated, which is nice. Thin spoke on that steering wheel just makes it feel really, really nice and open in here. Gives you a clear view of all the instrumentation. And then going over any kind of bumps you're gonna feel it a tad more because of the solid rear, but still 
very, very compliant in how they rework the suspension in this vehicle. And then having the all-wheel drive is just gonna keep you planted. I mean, that's the bottom line. Uh, whether it's snowy, sandy, or what we find in Florida a lot is, uh, you know, the flooded streets uh, from all the rain. But, oh, wow, here we go. I also like the sound that you're getting. It's not something that's all artificial and all computerized, which is nice. Kind of just keeps it real. And you got the head up display. Pulling out onto the highway. Great visibility with the mirrors. Of course, there's gonna be some blind spots just like any other vehicle, um, but definitely the sedan has less blind spots than the Mazda 3 hatchback, even though I do prefer the Mazda 3 hatchback better uh, than, than the actual sedan. But it's nice to have those options for people that want it because I get it. I get that not everybody is going to be into um, having an actual hatchback. But brakes work great. Driving it in traffic is really simple and straightforward as well. Going down the road over this ripped up pavement, like I said, it's uh, very com compliant. The all wheel drive provides uh, good confidence no matter what the surface of the road is doing. And I like the steering. I think a lot of people are gonna like the way it's nice and light, not too heavy. I personally prefer a heavier steering wheel, but it is very nice and light. Now I am gonna manually shift with this six speed automatic. So you're gonna take the shifter, pull it over to the left, the driver's side, and now you utilize those paddles. You do have a gear indicator right in that center digital display of your speedometer there to let you know that right now I'm in second gear and because sport is illuminated, that means I'm in sport mode. Now I dropped it down to first gear. But if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. Pretty quick on the upshifts. A little bit of a delay, but still pretty quick. Let me see on the downshifts. I'm gonna slow down a little bit here. Downshifts are much more efficient. So not too bad, especially if you're needing to have those paddles. If you're wanting that sportier driving engagement, especially if you live near some really twisty roads, but it, it allows you to stay in that sweet spot of the power band with this 2.5 liter inline four engine, which is great. But the torque delivery is what's really nice. Nice, naturally aspirated torque delivery, which is great. But hopefully this gave you a, a super good overview of what this particular Mazda 3 is all about. We're gonna get back to West Shore Mazda and wrap this one up. So I will see you in a split second. All right, guys, been another great day here at West Shore Mazda. Definitely got to thank Ray and the rest of the team getting us one of their very first 2022 Mazda 3s. Let me know what you think. Has Mazda continued on that success from just a few years ago with this Mazda 3, the way that it sits for this generation? Or are you going to go with the 11th generation Honda Civic? Lots of new things on that particular pl platform Put it in the comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click that link in the description. Get yourself some Radius Rides merch. Got to give it up to the queen behind the lens, the best videographer in the whole galaxy. Thank you, Lori, for your hard work. Show her some love in the comment section, everyone. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.